Hey, what's up guys? Dave with Build Alpha. Um, in this quick video, I just want to go over some of the new signals added to Build Alpha that are not price or volume based. Um, just to add some more context and overlay, macro overlay to our strategies um, to hopefully find better and more effective filters um, to make our strategies more efficient or only trade um, when we feel they should or when the data suggests. So the first thing uh, I want to go over is news signal. So this is essentially the date of the news release itself. So if I click on GDP, you see in the top right, I can edit um, the parameters or this offset. So in this case, if I turn this on, this would check if entering G um, five days before GDP all the way to five days after the GDP release, um, checking each day in between. And then if I go ahead, set the max holding time to one, run this, I can see which day around GDP is the most profitable. So you can see three days before um, GDP event is the most profitable for SPY, um, at least since 2004. Okay, so some other signals, right? Um, you know, non-farm payrolls, jobless claims, uh, consumer sentiment, CPI, PPI, all the majors, right? Holidays, so again, same thing. This is gonna be the date, so you could check, um, you know, 4th of July coming up. Five days before, five days after, incrementing by one, same idea. Um, you know, are there any seasonal or holiday edges, um, or should you be turning your strategies off around news events or holiday um, events because volume or volatility decreases or um, what have you. Economic data, this is gonna be uh, the actual news um, or economic release, the actual value of the news release. So for example, if you only wanted to trade um, when GDP was strong, right? You might say, okay, only trade when it's at least two and a half um, or three and a half, you know, or more. Um, that's how you set that up. Or maybe you only want to trade when GDP is weak and falls below 1%. Um, same thing, um, you know, non-farm payrolls, for example, maybe you only want to trade when jobless numbers are at least 200,000 or more, um, but you don't want to trade, you know, and vice versa, you can go the other way. Um, you know, maybe you don't want to trade when it's greater than 200,000 jobs uh, per month. So again, just another way to add some context and filtering with some economic data, um, some macro insights. Market breadth, so dark pool index, again, this is basically a percentage of short sale volume as total volume for the stocks in the S&P 500. So typical reading is between 40 and 50%, and you can adjust these values the same way, um, finding a dark pool index, um, or above its average of the last n days um, makes any significance to your trading systems or not. And of course, all these values are optimizable as well. Moving into VIX term structure again, if the VIX is, is more expensive on the front month contract than it is on the contract that expires three, four, five, six months from now, obviously there's a higher premium for risk today. Um, that's a different market environment, um, you know, than your than your typical contango. So. That being said, that allows you to add some, some context and volatility overlays. Um, you know, what kind of regime, volatility regime is your trading system or trading strategies uh, trading in? And again, that VIX signals is gonna allow you to do that. And same thing with the treasury yields. Um, you can check any point on the treasury yield curve um, for one month all the way to 30 years. And then you can also check um, the spreads between all the values. So this is the difference between the tens and the twos, uh, typical uh, single value metric um, for the entire curve itself. Um, and then finally, some options data. This GEX is gamma exposure, and we have it for both the index and then the GEX 500 is the gamma exposure aggregated across the 500 stocks in the S&P 500 index. Um, and again, all it is is the gamma times the open interest summed across all strikes, and then you just take the difference between the sum of the calls and the sum of the puts. And if that number is positive, uh, it's assumed that the market makers are positioned in a way that would allow the market to grind higher. Um, they would protect the downside. And if it's negative, the market makers are more willing to let the market fall um, or volatility should be higher. Um, some great books and blogs about that. You can Google all of these signals. Um, but again, the idea is to add some context and overlay to our price and volume based um, trading strategies and systems and doing it through macro overlays, market uh, maker insights and VIX, term structure, treasury yields and of course market breadth, the market health itself. 
Um, so hopefully that helps build more robust trading strategies. It should. Um, again, and if you have no idea what to test with Build Alpha, you can select all the signals, um, set them to whatever you want, and then just run the simulation, um, and Build Alpha will find the best results for you. Trying to make things easy. Any questions, email me at david at buildalpha.com. Thanks, guys.